In this video, we're going to show how to create simple message boxes in the Microsoft Excel environment using Visual Basic. I already have two pictures here as a sample message box. Now to do this, first you want to make sure your macros are enabled, but we're going to go on and do this. I'm in my Developers tab. I'm going to insert an Activist command button, and this is only to call the macro that we're going to be using here for message boxes. Later on when you're building your own Excel files, you can go on and change these message boxes um, as to when this message box will come up. This is just a simple command button to call it. To call it. So we're going to name it message box. Now what you're also probably going to want to do is write down this website or just keep it as a bookmark at the msdn.microsoft.com. I have pulled up the Visual Basic for Applications Reference, specifically the message box function as to how to how we can um, write a message box using this information. Now you don't need this web page. It's very simple to build a message box, especially because in Microsoft Excel's Visual Basic you'll get a pop-up telling you how to build it. And we'll show you how to do that right now. First off, the most basic message box. We're going to go on and double click this button right here. Let's put some code in. The most basic message box is just msgbox and we can just write in here hello world and if we were to hit that button a small message box comes up there's no icon title is Microsoft Excel it says hello world let's go on and make it a little bit fancier here put ourselves back into design mode double click the message box we're gonna do hello world comma now this parameter this section are the buttons what buttons do you want to come up by default it's the VB OK only and so in this case we're going to go on and do VB OK only and I'm going to go and hit the plus sign because that's not the only thing I want I want to see other things on here let's just say that we want to have the exclamation icon plus VB exclamation that's it for these parameters we're going to close it we can do a title of the message box this is the title and then we're going to just close that out. I'm going to put this in parentheses. And you should really assign a variable to it. X equals message box hello world. Or whatever variable you would like. Takes out of design mode. Click that code. Click the box so we can execute the code. And now we have hello world with the yellow exclamation mark. And then this is the title. Now looking at the MSDN library. I'm going to scroll down and show you some of the buttons that you can do. You can have VB OK, VB Cancel, VB Abort, Retry, Ignore, the VBS, and VB No. Now if you notice we did an X equals message box hello world. And I'm going to show you something. We're going to do message box X. We're going to play the same code. Hit OK. We get the return value of 1. Whenever the user clicks VB OK, the return value we get is 1. If we were to have the VB Yes and No option here and the user was to click the button um, Yes, we would get the value 6 back. If they were to hit No, we would get the value 7 back. And I'm going to show you how that works right now. I'm going to delete the VB OK only. And I take out the VB ex exclamation. We're going to do VB. Put the comma so we get this here again. Let's go on and select VB yes and no. Plus, let's get also the VB, let's do the question mark. VB question. And then we'll change the title up. Question for a user. And the prompt Do you know how to program in VBA? Now we're going to play this code by hitting F5 or by hitting the, the play button. And we get a question for a user. Do you know how to program in VBA? So I'm going to go on and click yes. We got the value back as 6. Now if I also run that same code again, but this time click no, we'll get the value 7. Now what you can do first off before I proceed is if you do want to change the icons, you'll use it using this parameter. 
and I would recommend using the MSTN library functions that way you can um, see what your options are for choosing icons in the message box function what I want to show you next is how you would respond to the user if they were to select yes and how you would respond to the user if they were to select no so here we can put if x equals and I'm going to go on and search the code 6 would be for VBS so this is for for yes if x is equal to 6 then and then we'll do enter and then we'll do a close the, we'll close the if statement and if and we'll do if x equals 7 then we'll just put non executable code here user hit no and if here we'll just as a reminder a comment user hit yes but I'm gonna put another message box in here message box you selected yes and under no we'll do a message box you selected no let's try to run that same code now we're gonna go and select the command button message box do you know how to program in VBA yes or no we go on and select yes you selected yes if we were to click that message box again do you know how to program in VBA no you selected no this is a real quick demonstration as to how to do a message box, how to build it, and how to respond if a user were to hit yes or no. You can expand further with these message boxes by utilizing these return values. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.